Welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. I'm Angel B. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So a couple of weeks ago, I did this coffee mug here where I was basically, it was, it was, it was a DTF on a coffee mug. Okay, so I did this a couple weeks ago. I put it on my TikTok and that TikTok basically went viral. Okay, I got over 45,000 views on that video. Um, and with that came a lot of comments. So when I did this cup, this coffee mug, I used the regular DTF ink and the regular DTF, um, a regular DTF printer. So this is a DTF through and through coffee mug. No hack or anything like that. It's straight DTF. But a lot of the comments in that TikTok were asking me, can this be done with a sublimation, with the sublimation hack, the DTF sublimation hack. So that is what we are doing today. Let me show you guys my paper. So in today's video, I will be using Yamation DTF film. Um, again, it's the film I've been using for the last couple months now. I will be also using their powder. I will have a coupon code as well as a link down in the description box if you guys would like to try it. It is available on Amazon. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to see if we can do this coffee mug with the sublimation ink. Um, as you can see, it did turn out a little bit different from the regular DTF, but that's to be expected because you guys, this is a hack, but we're going to be talking about it. I'm going to show you how, um, I got my DTF film to go through my sublimation printer as well. I know a lot of people are having issues with the D getting the DTF film to go through the, um, the DTF, I'm sorry, the sublimation printer. So they're having a hard time getting the DTF film. To go through the sublimation printer because it gets jammed so i'll also be showing you a quick little trick on how i get my film to go through my sublimation printer with no issues um and then yeah we'll be carrying this onto a mug we'll be using our cricket mug press all of my supplies and everything will be linked down in the description box so definitely stick around for that all right guys so i'm printing out um my transfer here now what i do to get it to go through is i put my dtf film on top of a white piece of paper and then i tape them together at the top using some scotch painters tape now this allows the printer to not jam with the dtf film but then sometimes some people have the issue where they'll it'll print but it won't print all the way because the printer isn't like picking up the film because it's see-through so that's how I do it now what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and coat this with the powder um, I'm just kind of judging it all over the place and then I'm gonna cure it for 200 seconds at 100 degrees Celsius inside of my oven I'm gonna do that twice all right guys so I'm here and I do have my um my prints and then i have so what i did was and i think i just messed this one up i sure did so i just messed this one up on this side but that's okay i'm still gonna go with it um but this is the print here and then this is the sublimation ink and then i did um cure it twice so i coated it twice and i cured it twice okay so the when you guys saw me coat it with the powder and then put it in the oven as soon as it came out, I immediately did it a second time, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get it taped on here. And we're going to press it. I am using some heat-resistant tape. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this was because um, when I did this with the DTF um, ink, I got, um, I put it on TikTok and I mean, my, my video went pretty viral on TikTok, um, over 40,000 views. So a lot of questions that I was getting on TikTok was, um, can this be done with the sublimation hack as well? Because a lot of people are still using that hack. So that is why I decided to 
try it out. So this is sublimation ink, you guys. This is not DTF ink. I did not print this with my DTF printer. I printed this with my Epson Sure Color F170, which is a sublimation printer. All right, so I do have it nice and taped. Let me turn my ring light up a tiny bit. So I do have it taped on both sides. I just have four pieces of tape. I'm gonna put the print one on each side. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in here now when i did this with my dtf dtf doesn't require a whole lot of time when it comes to heat but because that we are using um, sublimation ink this time i'm gonna go a little bit longer um so last time i think i went until the second light was blinking um this time i'm gonna go to the third light so again i'm using my cricut mug press um, I don't know if you have ever used one, but on the Cricut Mug Press, it does have little blinking lights up here at the top. And the last time um, I went into the second light, now I'm going to go to the third light. Um, DTF film is a cool peel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this do its thing up until the third blinking light. Then I'm going to take it out. I have to let it completely cool. And then once it's cooled, I will come back and we will peel it together and see what happens. All right, guys. So my cup is mostly, is pretty much cooled off. I did peel off one side. Um, I will say, you can tell the difference between this one and the DTF um, for sure. It's not bad bad but if i had to choose i will say that obviously i feel like the dtf one um the dtf cup it does look a lot better this one looks a little it looks i guess i don't know it looks real diy it doesn't it doesn't really it doesn't look as clean for sure and obviously it's because you know it's a it's a hack that's the main reason why it has nothing to do with the paper. It has nothing to do with the ink. It's just that it's a hack and it doesn't necessarily look as good. And this side really isn't even peeling as well. Okay, there we go. So there it is. And of course, because this this mug is um, clear and not white, that's why it looks kind of transparent because we are using sublimation ink. Let me see if I can find a white shirt to put inside of there. Because we're using sublimation ink, when, um, you know, sublimation ink, if you don't put it on white, it just doesn't look as good if you don't put it on a white blank. This probably will, would have looked better on a white coffee mug rather than a clear one, but you can kind of see it with the white t-shirt in there. You can kind of see it better. Okay, so in my opinion, it doesn't look as good as the DTF with the DTF ink, but it definitely got the job done. I'm going to go see if I can find the other coffee mug. I will be right back so I can do a compare and contrast. All right, guys. So this is the one that I did with the DTF. Um, the DTF ink. Okay. So can you kind of see the difference? You see how this one. I mean, this one looks a little bit more transparent, like almost you can see through it, whereas this one doesn't. This is um, the same exact film, the Yamation film, and the same exact powder, which is the Yamation powder. But this is DTF ink, and this is sublimation ink. Okay? So definitely my preference would be the DTF ink, because you got that white coating on the back that really just gives it a better look, a more professional look, whereas this one... Is a little bit transparent because you know with sublimation ink you don't have that white backing all right but that is all i have for this video guys i like i said i really wanted to do this because my followers on tiktok 
that video that I did for this went viral and a lot of people were wondering will it work so I said you know what I'll go ahead and I'll try it I'll be putting this on TikTok as well um for everybody to see but I just definitely wanted to try it out for my TikTok followers but that's all I have for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff until next time bye